This is our favorite coffee shop we go to every single day. And I live right down here to the left. And I got mail. I filmed like a little clip of the building before we went in, but I went to Kiko and I got a fun few things. I don't know if you can like see on the highlights, but I, so on my lids, I'm wearing this like really pretty like bronzy coppery um, eyeshadow stick from Kiko. It's the Arctic Holiday Glacial Eyeshadow. Sorry if that was off. In 02, I think this is like the copper shade. Um, it doesn't have a name on it, but I got that. I also got this lipstick I'm going to wear tonight. Um, it's the Kiko Jelly Stylo in num or shade 502, and it's like a nice nude. Then I got this Kiko Glacial Holiday set. The Kiko Arctic holiday metal eyeshadow cool like hollow packaging this is the packaging for the eye stilo anyway so this eyeshadow is like a nice gold shade this is it i don't know if you can see it it's like a pretty gold shade it looks like really nice and metallic so i got that and i'm just about to like primp out my face for dinner tonight so i guess i'll like pop you up somewhere and let you enjoy the show of me like adjusting my makeup for the night tonight. This is something I did in the summertime once and I'm going to do it again. What I did is I try Halo Scout. So I take, um, actually I'm gonna take this in Topaz and bronze up my skin. I did this once over the summer when I had like really good skin um, and did no foundation. I just did three different um, highlighters and some mascara and brows. And it looked, I looked so good. It was awesome. Anyway, so I just kind of like lightly chisel out my cheekbones. <laughs> but I still look like a healthy and woman. And then I just, because it's a cream product, if I don't want something somewhere, I just like drag it. This is not the most conventional makeup, but it'll look fine. I look disgusting, so it'll look better than how I look in, on camera in real life. I promise. But I like how I can just use my fingers for everything. And I can just use that as kind of like a blush. And just what I do is I um, clean up any lines with my fingers and touch up any like spots where product isn't staying. Just because I do have like patches on my skin where um, product just doesn't stay that way. And then I'm going to take it on my nose. This is like a very summertime look also, so it might not look as appropriate in the winter. Kind of contour and then go across like right here. And um, this is gonna really try to blend out really well and just kind of give me that like overall bronzy look. This is very suited for the summertime, but I'm gonna make it work for the winter because I just wanna be glowy and beautiful. Sue me. Okay, quick end result before I go watch some Netflix. If you can kind of like see, I have like some nice glow. And my eyes look nice. I just kind of look bronzy and glowy and that's all I want, especially in the winter when I'm dry help so that's a quick little tidbit i'm gonna go watch some netflix and clean love it there's cookies in the bike oh they're so cute oh okay it's fine you can see it after dinner 
I just thought I would come on here really quickly and wish you good night. I am exhausted and I'm going to pass out. Hopefully my hair doesn't go too crazy, but yeah. So I'm just going to close my doors, finish watching some videos on YouTube and go to sleep and so I can start tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know I said good morning already, but I am going to get coffee and maybe a croissant or pastry and do some vlogging shiz and. Put some of my Gizu hair oil on the ends of my hair to make them look healthy and not like I let them dry naturally. So yeah. Okay, I need to use my hands now. Bye. So Massimo is this really cute older Italian guy, like cute as in like, I want to hug my grandpa cute. Um, anyway, him and his wife own a leather shop um, around the corner from the leather market in Florence. And he has some really cute stuff. I've purchased a few items from there. And um, for Sarah showed me his shop and she heard about it from somebody else and um anyway so first visited him in august purchased some stuff since then anyway he has grown to really like me i don't know why maybe it's his the blonde hair um i have more of a unique name so maybe he just remembered me better but um anyway we always get to talking whenever we're in there i bought countless gifts and stuff for myself with him so anyway we got to talking I guess he really likes Sagittarius's and like he probably reminds me of his daughter and we're about the same age we think we have similar birthdays we've got or they got a dog around when we got our new dog which you will see um anyway so like countless things that just have like brought us closer and um he wanted he and I were talking about birthdays and how my birthday was coming up and how my roommate's birthday was coming up and he was like oh come in and I'll give you a present and I was like okay and he added me on Facebook which is totally fine he asked me if he could do that and I was like yeah of course like I'm not gonna see you unfortunately anymore in a few days and um he wrote on my wall I went in on my birthday first off and he was so busy and so I didn't even bring it up and that he t said he was gonna give me a present and he wrote on my Facebook wall happy birthday and I was like oh like thank you Massimo like I'll see you this week and um, then he commented back come back in and I'll give you your present and I was like okay and so Sarah and her sister and her sister's boyfriend are visiting and so I went with them to Massimo's and he wasn't busy at all and so he was like oh Chandler like your present is I'll give you a free purse and I was like okay like awesome that's amazing like you're so sweet and he was like one of the smaller purses and I was like okay well I'd had my eye on this one purse the purse I ended up getting and I was like just out of curiosity like how much is this purse Massimo and um he was like oh it's 90 euro but for you if you want it 
I'll discount it for you with your like birthday present. And so I got it for 40, 50 euros, 40 or 50 euros. And um, anyway, so that's the purse I got. That's the relationship I have with Massimo. He, I think I made him seem like it, but he was just like a precious, like a really cute younger Italian guy. No, he's married, he has kids, a daughter who's my age. And anyway, so the purse that I got now you will understand. I also got my black purse from Massimo's. And if you, I'll try to like, I'm gonna do a whole Florence guide and I'll put him on like a Google map or something, but you should definitely go see Massimo if you're coming to Florence, tell him I sent you, and hopefully he'll give you a good deal. He treats students really well. He gives them 50% off. Um, so yeah, I just realized I didn't like explain Massimo's and my relationship. I've gone into his store countless times, so many times over the past semester, so we've just grown closer. And he gave me a birthday present, which was so sweet. So I'm gonna go right before we leave to say goodbye. Until next time, but yeah. So, that's the story. Now, cue the purse. So I got this butte. It's like nice and soft, and it's actually bigger than any of the other bags I have, but very similar. If I was to line them up. And so in it, it has a big kind of back slot and a big, whoops, front slot. And it has <laughs> this like middle pocket. And I love it. It holds all my stuff. This is my new baby. So I can like wear it like as a shorter bag. And then I can extend. I can extend it so it's a longer bag. And then how I wear it in Italy sometimes is like a crossbody bag because then I walk with my hand kind of over it so no one can pickpocket me. And I'm not sure what to name her yet. But she's beautiful. I um, almost got the black one, but you'll see the similarities. The one I just got and the one I already have. So, not that you care, but if you can see, like, all of my purses look very similar. They do have, like, different shapes and can hold different amounts of stuff. But they all are very similar. They all kind of have, like, the suede top and, like, some sort of detailing where it clasps. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you my new BB. She's so pretty. I took her out. She definitely can hold the most. And then the second one is this one that holds the most. And this one's definitely the smallest. But I like that it has like a big inside pocket. I can put my wallet in so no one can like reach my purse and grab anything out. So yeah. These are my little BBs. Did you read them? No. Look at the top.
drinking. Yeah.